Well, um, hello everybody. Um, I hope you all uh, have a great weekend. Had a great weekend, anyway. Um, so, what I'm gonna do today, of course, is our beautiful thing that's called uh, drawing again. And since this, since that technically the church project did not count, and somebody asked me to do a new project for some, uh, and yeah, so. There it is. Hexa asked me to draw a hawk moth. And I gladly accept it. Because that's very funny to draw anyway. A bloody damn hawk moth. So, um, we're gonna do that today. And I'm gonna be happy about it because it's fucking ridiculously funny to draw such a thing. Because it's literally gonna be a hawk moth. <laughs> Ah, uh, I love those things. I really love them. You know that? If I ever, um, if I ever wanted to do anything else like that, you know, I could. But the good news is that I'm, wi I will do it anyway. So, um, let's get started upon it because that's also necessary. Um, to do so, we're gonna go for, uh, we need to have better, we need to have a big, better point of view. Because I feel like I cannot do this with this kind of white, but I can also not do it with this kind of, uh, particle. Yes, this should work. Come on. So uh, the main idea here is that this thing is gonna be like really hard to uh, do. There you have it. That's more like it. I don't need such a. Br I don't need such a big boy. All right. So we have this. Hmm. Lovely. So the first thing we need to find out because we need to do research here. Trust me. You kind of need it this time. We need to know what a hawk is. Well, hawk, uh, hawk. Uh, no, it's not a hawk. That's that's terribly language spelling. Hawk. There you go. So this is a hawk. There you go. So we're gonna do a quick look at the Wikipedia. Um, Hawks are a medium group, a medium-sized dornil birds of a prey of the fam uh, of the family of Acorns. Hawks are widely distributed upon great sizes. Subfamily uh, includes uh, sparrow hawks, sharp skin hawks. Uh, but what I need to know about why and how what hawks are, I need to know what the characteristics are. So characteristics. Characteristics, please. Hawk's characteristics. Hmm. So, if we want to determine if it is a hawk, it has sharp tal talons, a large curved bill, a, a, a large curved bill, and muscular legs. So, it should have great tick ties. Um, it's supposed to have great talons and, well, a curved a curved beak. So, um, so to make a hawk, that's gonna be very funny to do, because you know we need that. But we also need to determine determine what a moth is. So we're gonna do that. Moth. I'm correct, and this is how a moth looks. So a moth, a uh, a paralephic group of insects that includes uh, all members of order. Of, uh, they are not butterflies. Moths make up for the vast majority of all the throughout the experiment. Well, that's a lot of things, and now I need to find out what the characteristics are because that's important. Otherwise, I can't go for it. So, what are um, highly adaptable? They live in polar habits. Uh, their wings, bodies, and legs are curved, like dust-like. Uh, skills come uh, come off. If the insect is handled, 
Uh, compared to butterflies, moths have study, uh, studier bodies and duller coloring. Moths are distinctively friendly or thick antenna. Alright, so that's what uh, characteristics of a moth is. Alright, so um, that's what we need to work a bit. This is what we need to work with at all. So to realize that we are dealing with a moth, we are dealing with a creature that has dust-like skills that come off when handled, which is quite cool. Uh, they have dull coloring, so we need to keep that in mind. The wings and bodies are covered with dust-like skills, so uh, the body, the wings and the legs of the moth need to be dust-like. So they have skills. Apparently, which is quite cool actually to realize that that moth actually have skills Not the real good skills, but they fall off when touched so um, that's one of the things and We also need to remind ourselves that it is a hawk, so it needs to have sharp talons a large curved bill and muscular legs and Then you have it there you have it there it is then you have a hawk. Moth. Technically. If you would go for that kind of description. Which we are going for, but we need also to do some more things into it anyway. But yeah, this is these are the characteristics I need to take uh, take notice of anyway. So to draw this thing, um we of course need some images anyway, because moth are like who Yes. So we're just gonna pick up a beautiful picture here and a beautiful picture there. Good. Oh, that's 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 so handy dandy. So we'll go for that. That's really cool. Um. So yeah, uh, we need to have a layer. So we need to have two layers as well. So I'm gonna go for here for references, just just to put some references in, because I need to know where the how the hell I'm gonna draw this thing. Because I have no clue. Well, I have some clues how to draw, but I don't. I don't have a lot of clues. I need to know what I'm gonna do with it. Ah, oh, perfect. So we're gonna copy this image, paste it right here, in. paste it right here. Yes, as it is in the web. Oh, beautiful. Yes. And now we're gonna use the erase button to. Get rid of the problematical issue that we are dealing with we, because we don't want this to happen. So, there you have it. This is a mouth. I'm gonna make it a big. It's to be. It needs to be medium size soon because I will tell you what what we need to look at after for. So, there you go. We have now to successfully put down a mouth. Uh. No, yes. Boop. And then we need to go for this instead. There you go. And now we need a second. Now we need an also a copy of the hawk. Why do we need to have a copy of the hawk as well? Because that will be very handy dandy if we if we're dealing with anything. So, uh, what is a good? What's a good? What's a good drawing to look at if we're looking for? If we're looking for moth, well, we could go for this. Yes, beautiful, awesome. I actually need it on the other side, like this. Yes, way better, way better, way better. So, we're gonna do it again. Edit, copy, paste. There you go. As web as well, and go for this guy, and go for this guy, and then rip, rip. There you go. So here we have our com here we have our boys, our legendary boys. So no, 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 no. That, that sucks. Um, yes. So these are the boys that we need to deal with. 
Ah, god damn it. How about I just get him zoom in? There you go. Drag this with me. Much better. And then just go release. Yes. So we have our legendary boys. We have the hawk and a moth. So, it needs to have a beak, it needs to have talents, and it needs to have skill like legs. Oh boy, um, that's gonna be a lovely little creature to, to look at. <laughs> that's gonna be a great creature to look at. So, we need to have this layer over there. What? No. We need to have this layer over there, yes. And then we need to make sure that this is on this kind of capability because we don't want to go for that. We also don't want to go for this. So, um, as you can see, we have a description upon both, which is quite cool anyway. But just let me just draw something very easy first. And uh, it's just this. Oh, I'm not even using black. God damn it. Uh, th that's not what I want. 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 That's... Oh, are you fucking kidding me? This is why we cannot have nice things. No, this is not why we cannot have nice things. This is not why I can have nice things here. <sighs> Alright. First things first, we need to get this thing back onto black, because black is important. That's black. There you go. That's way too tiny. So, um allow me to just go for a big brush size. Yeah, there you go. That's that's more like it. That's more like it. Alright. So, first things I'm gonna do, which probably is not even noticeable, but, uh, yeah, probably not noticeable at all, is gonna be drying the body itself. So, if I want to go for the body, I need... Come on! So, the body's gonna be put into segments, because that's how a moth works. With the moth wings as well. Which is going to be consisting of two. Yeah, it's going to be consisting of two thing like abilities. So as we're going here, and then you'll have the legs as well. So not the legs. The legs are comparison to the body are small, but so this right. So. Legs and then this small. Yeah, that would work. If I would draw a moth, then this should be the characteristics I could get for. Aim for at least. But I'm not drawing a moth. I'm drawing both. So, um, this should be working, so I'm gonna be putting this down on the side. I'm gonna put this back. I need to look at the proportion of... Well, the wings are way bigger than the body. Way better, bigger. So the proportion does not count. The proportion is wrong. So I'm going to just draw the body first. And then I will draw the... And then I'll draw the wings. So... The head is like really tiny compared to the compared to the body. Holy hell, that's this also needs to be bigger. So if I would consider this a proportion, I'm gonna go for the insect look because that's like really necessary. But also I need to keep keep in mind that I. All right, so the big bulge over here is important. The big bulge. So we have this, and now we need to go for lowering that. 
Oh yeah, that's gonna be a tiny boy. Yes. Excellent. Now I have it. Good, 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 good. Now, to make sure that I have my wings done, I'm gonna put this on a different layer because, you know, wings. God damn. Those things are very hard to get correctly. So, the first thing first, wings. Wings are gonna be a big. Apparently they're very big compared to the body. I should zoom out the uh I should have zoomed out the uh the creature. I should have I should have scaled this down. Should have scaled down the layer. But no no you piece of shit I hate you so much. So God freaking damn it. Why are you on this one? I'm not asking you anything, I'm just asking you to be very nice to me and then you know you don't do it. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna drag it there, go over back here. So now we have a little tinier version of it. I'm gonna go back here. So what we need to focus for is big wings. I remove the other one. I remove the other wings, so it should be now fine. So the wings are big. Okay. Not even kidding, big. Just need to find out how they are. Well, all uh, right, they are like that. Yeah, not like this. No, that one is actually full, 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 full wedged. Nice. That's a full curve. All right. So, um, now we technically have our big boy. Go. Um, so yes, um, congratulations upon me. I have done it now. So now we have this done, and now we need to go for the legs. Oh boy. Um, we're gonna put that on a different layer as well because that's important. So the legs are gonna be uh god dang dang it. So if I'm gonna go for the legs itself, we'll go for like this. This and again this this because it is considered of a you know because it's considered a moth, it should be having these type legs, but it needs to be very muscular legs. That's for, for that's a thing that needs to be done. So
So we have now this, and we now know that the that the mo that the beak is gonna be like this. So that's gonna be a thing. <laughs> All right. Um, do I like the position of these legs? Well, I do love them, but I need to have these these claws need to be on the. Yeah, I do need to be like this. Like, like that. All right. So, um, so we now have our legs. That's all gonna be full of talents because that's how um, and that's how a hawk works. So. That's a very scary creature indeed. And now I can actually put this into an image. Oh man, that's really hard to get correctly. Alright. Um So, um to realize that I ju what I just did was actually doing the um uh, um, to realize what I just did was actually doing that. Um, so everything here is done. Uh, so now we have finally have the vi the vision how this is gonna be looking. Oh man, that's a that's an abomination to the max. Woo! All right. Um, congratulations, me. We did it. We fucking did it. All right. Um, as you can see, I can actually move these. I can move these legs like how I want them. I can move them when I when I want them. I can move them here. I can move them here. So it does not matter where I'm putting them. It means that I have a vision where I can put them and this is all sketchy. So it's not even real. It's not even the real thing. This is all sketch. So, um to realize now what I have did what I have done. I have not put yet any aspect of the hawk inside. I have just put the moth part in. Why did I put the moth part first in? Because um, according to the description, uh, I'll just read that loud anyway. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, it's it's a bird-like creature with moth-like wings. Check. Um, it is a creature where the argument uh, has been reached for centuries if it is a bird or an insect. So this is why I'm gonna go for the segments. Because because of segments, it is technically classified as an insect. But uh, but the funny thing is that these uh, the, the, that these things are gonna have claw like of a hawk, and gonna have phallus like a hawk, and have a and have a face like a hawk almost. So it's gonna be very disturbing to watch to see a creature with segmentation segmentational body and then you know look like a fucking bird that's that's the funny thing here this is why it's so funny this is why it's called a moth but well this is why it's called a hawk moth because it looks like a hawk but has the characteristics of a moth so also it has characteristics of a hawk this is why it's so very confusing to look at this is the idea. This is the simple idea what I'm gonna do. But, as we already have been told each other, we can look at the characteristics of a hawk and say what the hell we all need to do. Well, the characteristics of a moth are, one more thing, sharp talons, large beak, well, large, uh, large curved bill, so it's gonna be a curved bill, and we're gonna have muscular muscular legs, so we need to have muscular legs. We don't have to have 
fragile lax now we need to have muscular pure muscle so that's the thing that we're gonna take care of soon anyway so um that's what we're done that's what we're gonna do anyway so we're gonna continue with now layer six so what does layer six do so we're gonna go for now we're gonna put this into first layer what we're gonna do call this this is the lax so we're gonna call this lax we're gonna go with it for here we're gonna call uh oh no I did these are the wings uh -huh. I almost called the wings the lax the wings and the wings the lax <laughs> stupid me lax body all right so so you have probably already noticed what this kind of creature looks like and how it looks like you know so now we're gonna go for some fun yes since that this thing is gonna have scaly skin somehow well it has scaly kind of skin I want to have the scaly skin on the bottom and then go for feather like appearance on the on the top this way it will create this creepy looking ass bird anyway well looks like a bird then so where can what shall we do first I think we should go first for the head itself so we're gonna go for the head and then texturized text alright so um we're gonna go drawing on the on the head. You're probably noticing already that this is gonna be like taking a long time. Well, that's because it is gonna be taking a long time. So if I want to draw on this head, I already know how to draw it because we have a reference. Yay, reference! This is the head. We can technically move this bad boy. Which we're gonna do. We're gonna move it towards uh, Mr. Head here. Just I keep the reference on. So we have Mr. Head here, which um, is Birdie Boy. Right here, Birdie Boy. Now, Birdie Boy, we want to complete the. We want to complete the look of it a little bit. So, Birdie Boy here has like. A very sharp, very sharp look, and it goes like this. So, yeah, this way we have now the Sharpie Boy. Oh, wait. Ah, wait, I did on the wrong name. Ah, I did it almost completely right. Almost. This is why it's always very important to remember what you're doing. <laughs> always go for the head. Alright, so we have this Sharpie boy. So. Look at the thickness in this. Oh wait, it has a hooked bill, it's a, it has not a... That's... Uh, no, it has a... it has a beak, but... Has a lesser be it has a big beak. It has a big like here and like here. Go to here, yes. Excellent. So, um This is why it's so important to have this. So, um, let's see. 
So it goes like this, and then it has to hide right there. That looks fucking creepy. That's not a very good eye, I would say myself, but mm. beak is too tall. The beak is too long. The beak is too long. It's too it's too hooked. It's too hooked. It's a hooked one, but it is not that hooked. It's like this and then it goes down. That makes sense. Yes, and then it has the Wait, what? So I was right all along. Huh, funny. So now we have this done, we have that done, and now we can actually go for the rest of the body line because we have many hand done. We have the eyes on the other side. Those are looking right here. Alright, so now we have the head. It's a very flat one actually, as you can see. It's a very flat head, even though it, this one is a little bit more round. It's very flat on the butt. It's very flat here as well. So it has a flat head, and that way the Yeah, I, I really want to keep it in the state. I don't want to have the open peak. I want to have the open peak. Good. So... Alright. So this should be working now, correctly? Alright, so we have now the sharp beak with excellent eyesight. Alright, so they have excellent eyesight at the first time of the year. Uh, hold on, I can look at the picture right now. Image, please. Yeah, they do. They fucking do have that thing that's creeping me out. have cat like eyes no that's a reflection of the eye all right good 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 I was wondering why they have cat like eyes I was like what what the hint no 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 they have like normal eyes all right so um that's gonna be a very creepy bird. I'll tell you that. That's gonna be a very creepy. Yeah, that's gonna be a very, very, very creepy bird. Oh. That's gonna be a very creepy bird.
That's some creepy ass bird. <laughs> that looks so derpy. That looks so derpy right now. I'm gonna add some more things to it anyway, but damn, I think it looks creepy. Well, let's let's get started anyway. Don't keep, don't shoot to keep guards waiting. Uh, how is this beak going? It is a beak that goes from one point to the other, so it does have this. So it does have does have this over gaping. Yes, it does have this overkeep. I was wondering if it had it, but it did have it. does have it. Um, I need to have another eraser instead of the bloody um, annoying piece of shit eraser that I have. So. So we now have this, this, and now we have hawk thing. It looks now even more hawky than beforehand. Uh, the neck is actually very tall, but I need to keep the proportion right. And technically, hawks can actually put their heads like over here to this side, I mean. so they can actually have this. Ooh. So don't need to worry about that anyway. So I won't. So, um, continuing. So we have this, 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 and then we can go for that. All right. So I need to now go for feathers a little bit. So I'm gonna do that on a different layer, lowering it down to five. Oh, look at that. Now we're gonna go to detail. Oh boy. So, I need to keep in mind where I need to go here. Let me go here. So now we can go for that, that, and now we're gonna go for some from some bird wing bird prettiness birds here.
So the main idea here is when the uh oh fucking hell. Um the main idea here is that when I'm drawing this, you know, the bird is gonna be good, but it's not gonna be the best hawk looking bird I will tell you, but I'll try my very best on him anyway. I need to zoom in even back way in. Oh boy, that's gonna be a pain in the ass to do anyway. By the way, if I'm now removing the head tax. Oh, uh, yes, of course. Oh, now I know what I'm de doing wrong. <sighs> derp, derp, fucking me. I don't suppose it is with that. I'm not supposed to do this. Hold on. 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 I am so stupid. I am so fucking stupid. Going for the bakery, so boy. This place. Ah, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm so stupid. The main problem with the big boy here is that this is not a real good one. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. All right. So I know what I did wrong. Did you know what I did wrong? I do. So I'm going to just casually move this to transparent right now. And why I what I did wrong counts as a wrong. What did I do wrong? No, 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 no. Alright. What did I do wrong? Well, I will allow you to show you what I did wrong. I let something happen. This is why we have to do it again. 
The main problem that I had to deal with was that um, my feathers, the feathers did not add up because I could not put them into a. St I had to put them into a straight, straight look, which that is not a very good idea. I'm so very sorry about this, but this needs to be done. So what's going on? Well, um, the main problem was that the uh, feathers, definitely feathers. I had a problem with the feathers because of the feathers did not add up correctly. So if I would go for feathers like this, you know, I would get like really stupid. You can already see where the problem lies here anyway. Ah, drawings, you know. Not everything goes well, but of course you want to have everything go well anyway. But most likely they don't. But yeah, um, this is why it's so important to have different kind of layers just to do, you know, all this stuff. I forgot about that I needed to do the feathers without the uh, lining. And this is important that this will give the freedom of the this will give the freedom of uh, uh, how do you say this will give the freedom that you can see that there are no lines. All right. So because there are no lines that I can see or look at, things look better. That's most likely how it goes. Uh. So yeah, um So yeah, uh that's that's the main idea and that's what I'm gonna now fix. And that's just you know that the I have freedom with with the bird like look, but freedom with the feathers as well. So that I don't have to stop them or you know, there are, no, there are no lines that you can see directly. All the lines are free. That's the main idea here. So yes, I possibly need to redraw my eye. That's, that's for sure. But I can now actually draw the line, not the eye. Like right here. Then draw it again like this, you know, the eye. But then I can go for the So yeah, um, it's very important to know when, when to stop, because otherwise you don't know when to know when to go, or whatever. But I want to have this head done before you know going away, I'm going to uh, do something else. You guys probably wondering like. What the hell is going on here? Well, that's because I made a mistake. And this is why I need to do everything over again. Well, the good news is I did make the mistake once. Probably gonna do it three times or four times this day. This time because this thing is really depending on lines, I will tell you that. Woo! Really depending on lines. So, I want to give this hawk the look of a hawk. But of course, I need to also implement some other things. So, I'm gonna do that now. And I need to look for something. Uh, where is Big Boy? Where's Big Boy Moth? Where's Big Boy Moth? Moth. There you are, Big Boy Moth. Now, you Moth, tell me the secret of your ways, Moth. Ah, you have this kind of antennas. Thank you. They are most likely near the ears, so I will do that. I 
and I'll put that on the I'll put that on the layer seven. Yes, I did it correctly. Woo, woo, woo. Correctly. So now I need to figure out if this is the right position on this. Uh, let's see. Where do I want to have the? Where do I want to have the ears? Probably be a little bigger there. Just like that. And then go for this. And I have the full. Alright, I have them now fully. Now I can copy this. Select this. And then, oh, wait, I can just copy the layer though. Copy, paste, copy, paste layer. So I have now two. I can move the other one around here because that's where the, around the other one is. And then, you know, place it right now. Let's. And now, uh, as you can see, hopefully you can see it. I need to now go for here. Just continue. So we'll do that. So yeah, um, as you can already see, drawing takes a lot of time and work and effort uh, most of the times anyway. But uh, yeah, um, I hope you have your time here, enjoying it anyway. So um, this is a hog moth. I was not expecting that, you know, it would be so much work. Well, I was actually expecting that. Most projects take a lot of, lot of time. Most projects actually take more time than you ever think it will be taking. 
Oh, well, stick down. Um. And I'll need to actually make a new one. It's going to be put here. And now I need to draw over this. Uh, oh boy. And I actually need to shut down this one. God damn it. I really hate it when that happens. Alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So if I now remove layer 8, yes, it works. Alright, good, 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 good. So now, um, Now I actually need to just go for here now. Yeah. Alright, cool. So that one is kind of done. Um, so I need to put this back on and see how well that goes. How well that looks. Alright. Because of this one. No, no, no. It's because of the amount of colorization. Um, how do I fix that? Oh, yes. I just need to move it up. So, where this one is over there, should be working fine. Once everything is settled, if I use the colors correctly, then yes, it should be fine. No, it would not be because of the Alright. Um this is gonna be a difficult one. Whew.
what I'm doing here is actually just uh, drawing out the colors of the uh, problem. So if I'm now going for I'm now going back to here, you can see I actually drew over it. See? Bam! Fixed it. All right. Um. I need to also make here something else. So I'm gonna do them as well because that's important because this is number seven that I need to do. So I need to go here. I don't need to go at all number seven. Oh, I hate this so much. I hate this so much that I need to fix every single time. So number nine, I need. Then I need to go here. So, hi, oh, jeez, Louise, that's annoying. All right, um, let's just zoom out. That's some nice derpy looking bird, I will tell you that. I can even mo make more. Hmm. Do I actually want to have more of a tennis? Well, technically, it should have three because it is uh, not very aer aerodynamic. Well, technically, it's not very winning so much, so it should be fine. Look at that. That's some derpy doofy bird. It's like going on an acid trip, like, my soul is all I need, yes. So, um, that's the thing. Uh, it's gonna be a tough one, isn't it? Tough one to crack. Yep. I'll try my very best to get this thing fixed. I think I'm gonna put some more um, ears in, you know, just some more ears, just to get a better kind of better kind of view upon the better better looking face instead of this this face, this beautiful face here, right here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. So let's see. I want to have. What to have you? Yes, you. What have you? I want you to have more of you. So I want to actually go for another route. It's gonna be like here. So what the idea here is that um that it has multiple antennas to detect different kind of creatures in the area by sound because you know it it moves like a bird but it moves like a but it moves like a moth it should have a great detection since you know it relies on wind as well to detect critters or anything else so it should have more more of these things So if I have this, then it should be only here that I have yeah. So right there. And then one more coming from here. Because that's important. I have multiple 
if he has multiple antennas. I like to keep it multiple antennas on this thing. Yeah. That's some nice antennas right there. Some are a little bit sharper than the others, but it doesn't matter. So now I have actually a better look of a bird view. Um, it's very... The main problem is that this, this, this face is so tiny because of the moth part. It looks really ridiculous, but I'm trying to keep it more realistic upon the point of view. Like, I want to keep it in the moth section because otherwise it won't be. No, no, no. Don't draw texture upon something when you don't have access to. Don't draw something when. Don't draw it when you have no access to it. Uh, that's, that's so bullshit. Alright, back to 9, because that's important. As you already can see, the uh, hawk itself has tiny feathers. If you go for the Look upon, um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, no, 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 there. So, because the hawk actually has l little feathers on the front, on the top of the head, they're not very big. So, I like to keep them small but feathery. Featherly. Featherly. Feathery. 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 It's all the same. But I'm seeing I'm getting tired here, and I totally did this way too much. I need to do this less hard. I just need to go for it. Yeah, there you go. Don't want to have a hard tip. And now it goes like this. Because we're almost at the back, so we can actually go for bigger, more, greater looking feathers. <sighs> Damn. This is hard. Ugh, jeez Louise. So, yes, all right.
That's hard to get a can get a hawk right. Let's see how well it is looking now. <sighs> Damn. Probably gonna be put it. Well, it should be working. Yeah, then. Probably gonna put the positioning on the hands different because damn, that looks ugly. Um, but anyway, continue here. No, continuing on the problem part. Getting bigger, 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 bigger feathers. Holy shit. It's gonna be taking a long time. The main problem I'm dealing here with is that the head is actually way out of proportion of the normal body of a hawk. But that's normal because you know we're drawing as a, as well as a moth. The main the main idea here is that well, you know, you have this moth body, which kind of confuses the person that you know tries to d see if it is actually a hawk or a moth. That's the main idea. Like, what the hell is this? And then you know you realize like, hmm, hmm, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but uh, it's definitely not a, it's definitely not a dinosaur, or you know, it's it's a hawk, but it's a, it's also a moth, so it's very confusing. This is the whole time. This is the whole point of it. Like, you don't know if it's a hawk. You also don't know if you can classify it as a moth. Yeah, because it has both characteristics, and that's the fun part of it. It has both of them. It has a small. It has the sharp beak of a of a hawk. It has the butterfly. It has the wings of a moth. It has the segments of a moth. It has. It has the claws of a of a hawk. It has the skills of a moth because that's also very important to know. Because I also need to make sure that the moth has the skills. the The antennas are actually quite uh, characteristic. is also quite good characteristic of a moth. But uh, the most important part of it is actually the skills. The removable skills of a moth is actually quite cool to to look at. You know when you touch a moth that you have this white powder on your face uh, on your hands. Well, that's that's the uh, that's the chemical that's getting released. So yeah, I'm gonna make sure that I have also that. So you know the head is not that the head's not plated, but the back and the uh, the back and the tail is. So yeah, um, now look at. I want to see if this now looks. How does this face looks like? Is this a mo is this a face a mother could only laugh? Hmm. I want to look at it. That's a face only a mother could laugh. Definitely. Well, it is a it's a hawk face, so that's good enough. It has the good characteristics of a hawk face. And anyway, need to remove the layer seven to for confusion. Yes, that's a that's a hawk face. Why is it a hawk face? Because it has the characteristics of a hooked bill. Check. It has a superior eyesight. Check. And it has feathers. Well, check. Also, it has the characteristics of a moth. Check. So, um, because of the small hat ball portion. Do do do. We have combined them all. Da 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 do. <sighs> all right. Um. So now it's gonna be the big boy. The big boy is going to be called the big boy for a couple of reasons because now we need to deal with the body. 
The body is going to be a pain in the ass to draw because it's a big old fa fancy loopy loop of uh, nothingness. It's only a circle, so that's uh, a problem. But, but don't forget, we're not done yet. Ugh. Um, so, to draw this beautiful beast, because we also need to color it in and all that stuff, and we draw and all that stuff. I'm getting very far here. But, to draw this, this big beautiful beast, I need to realize, like, where can I now draw? Hmm, I don't know. I can continue with the body, which... I'm probably gonna do, but I need to figure out how the skills look of a moth, because otherwise I will not be able to continue. So let's do that instead, because you know I'm feeling like yes, let's do this. So um, where do I find the skills of a moth? Ah, look at that! There are the moth skills. So the bag is very hairy, huh? Huh? So it has fur on the back. So it should be then open to. F it should have fur on the back. All right, that's gonna be a problem because I'm very terrible at drawing fur. But I try. I will try my very best. Wait. No, 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 no. We don't have to. We don't have to. No, no, no. Why don't we have to? Well, um. Uh, let's see. Graceful flyers with superior the ability to catch prey from both air and ground. Opportunists of of the highest order. They will frequently strike a uh, target uh, preoccupied with other threats. All right. So they're they're total dicks. All right. Um. A shock. A static shock. All right. So needs to it needs to inform static shock. So then I should go for skills. Yes, I should go for skills. I should be a very, I should be very annoying. This should be a very annoying creature to deal with. It's a creature that's supposed to be dealing with with talents of doom, you know, talents there, talents there, talents there, and then it needs to have a lightning zap body segment. So it needs to have something like it needs to have, produce static lightning. Um, so it needs to have the hair. Ah no, it needs to have the hair. No. <laughs> So, um, hmm, where do the hair section it needs it needs to be on top of the on top of it until the back? It needs to be on top of it and the back and the tail a little bit, so it can produce aesthetic lighting by using the hair cells. All right, um, huh. that's gonna be a problem because that's gonna be a difficult one to crack. All right, um, yes. So, well, uh, let's see. Blech, this is a problem that we need to deal with. Uh, no, 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 no. There you are. This is Marty Boy. Um, as you can see, it has these skills on the wings. Quite cool to look at, actually. It is. It is skills that uh that go that that get removed if you touch it. It's very creepy. Very annoying to deal with. Anyway, it's a very pas pasky little thing. Also, as you can see. It has a lot of fur in the back, which we're gonna be dealing with. This fur needs to be on the back. So if we're gonna go to statistics of hawk, the hawk does not have this fur. This is annoying because you know we're not drawing just a hawk; we're drawing a hawk moth. So this is this is very problematic. I would say it is problematic most of the times. So it should be like here, yeah, like uh. Um, this is gonna be a new part. Yes, it's gonna be a new part. Um, I'm gonna put here ears, ears, and then this is gonna be head, head. Oh wait, I'm already over the fucking one hour. God damn it! Should I continue? Yeah, I'll continue to just do one more thing. Hair. I should not go for that kind of hair. I should go for the brush kind of hair, but. That's not gonna be happening because I need to draw it first. It's gonna be no. I need to draw the hair. In the aftermatch. Yes. It's a It's a particle effect. Idiot me. 
Um, if you didn't know, uh, you can draw hair if you want, but sometimes, you know, when you draw hair, I would rather go for this kind of look, like, I would go for this kind of look, like, very big, very big, uh, very big, uh, segments of, um, like, uh, fetus, and then, you know, static lightning comes up, comes over it, like, you know, and then I can go, like, here again, again, and, uh, that, that would actually not be bad. Or I can actually make, create a static field inside of the wings. Because I technically don't have to follow the guidelines of a moth, I just need to follow the gui guidelines of the characteristics of a moth, which is the posable skill. So I need to put skill inside. Ah, so that needs to be on the bottom half of the bird, because that way the bottom half of the bird looks like skills, and then you will get really confused, like, how the fuck there is skills in this creature, and then you realize that a moth actually has the posable skills. All uh, right, so that's gonna be very that's gonna be very interesting to me. Um, yes, I will cut it. I will call. I will cut it here because otherwise I'm gonna get really confused upon what I'm doing. Um, yes, I have not saved this. Maybe I should save it. Yeah, that's a very smart move. That's a very, 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 very smart move. I'm probably gonna be working on the wings because that's the that's the easy part. Um, save as heart moth. Yes, a hawk. A hawk. Just as a moth. Yes, slash moth. Because that's a fun thing. Safe. It's not a valid name. What? What? How is this not valid? Excuse me. I just want to punch somebody in the face. How is this not valid? This is valid, right? This is valid. Yes, of course it's valid. Alright, so. We have this beautiful hawk. Moth, thingy wingy, and we have this body of a beautiful hawk. So it's out of com, it's out of it's out of proportion. We have the, we have now the body. We gonna go for big giant. Uh, we're gonna go for bigger uh, as giant talons, on the hands. We're gonna go for big giant beautiful butterfly. Well, moth wings, if I may say so. So they're gonna be scaly. Because that's how the moth wings work. They have the possible skill. So I need to put skill on top of it and then just, you know, d with. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Just skills with feathers. And then put lightning through that. That that actually is a very smart idea. That's actually quite cool. Alright, um, anyway, um, enough, enough dream, dream talking. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it and uh, thanks for watching.